All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, and Jiren is going to be releasing soon on Global Dokkan. Now, Jiren is a very good card, right? Now, when he arrives on Global tonight, he will not be coming with his Dokkan Awakening. It was like this on GP2, where Jiren came out, then, uh, you know, uh, what was it, about a month later... Uh, his Dokkan event came with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Now, I don't know exactly how Global schedule is going to work, but Jiren could potentially be without his Awakening for a little bit longer on Global because I do think they're probably going to keep the schedule in terms of how long the LR Super Vegeta and Super Gogeta banners will be up on Global, which will be a full month's time. So because of that, I do think Jiren will come a little later with his Dokkan Awakening, right? Uh, I don't really think it's going to be really that big of a deal, but that is something that will happen. Now, Jiren is pretty good uh, without his Dokkan Awakening. Attack and defense, 120%. That medium chance to stun all enemies is nice. Unfortunately, though, uh, in terms of actually, you know, getting that to work, it's not going to work in really tough boss fights, right? Really tough events like the one we're going to go through today, uh, you're not going to really have a chance for that to activate once you get to the hardest parts of the fight. Now, he can work on both the Universal Survival Arc team as well as the Realm of Gods team. He is pretty good on both, but he's probably a little better on the Universal Survival Arc team because you can get him alongside Dispo as well as the God of Destruction, Topo. Uh, 12 can multiply 150% looking through all of this. Now, of course, he is also the Universal Survival Arc category. Uh, key 2, HP, Attack, and Defense, 120%. So, you know, with his, like, inclusion on Global, he's basically a 120% leader. But after Dokkan Awakens, he becomes a true category leader with 150%. Unfortunately, his attack and defense only go up uh, by 10% each to 130%. Uh, he does keep the medium chance to send all enemies, but at that point, he gets a guaranteed 100% chance to crit uh, whenever he does attack a stun enemy, which is nice. Uh, links don't change except for getting Fierce Battle. Uh, still same two categories, and 12 key multiplier is the same. Now, I will say this. Uh, personally, uh, I ha I kind of feel as though uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta uh, is a lot better probably than Jiren. Now, in terms of Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren, I probably actually prefer Jiren. Uh, so, like, you know, just in terms of those three units from the Universal Survival Arc, uh, I, I do think Blue Evolution Vegeta is the best. Uh, probably Jiren at number two, and then Ultra Instinct Goku does fall on as the third spot, just because the fact when he transforms that he loses that uh, defensive buff of his and only just gets a great chance to dodge uh, will cause him, on average, to take a little bit more damage than if, you know, he just had that 100% defensive buff like uh, Ultra Instinct Goku has before he transforms. But, like, that is kind of taken into account you do have him rainbowed because once Ultra Instinct Goku, like, you have a bunch of dupes in him, obviously that 100% defensive buff will be so good. But if it's like a, a Ultra Instinct Goku without a ton of dupes, that transformation will make him a lot stronger. So, uh, with all this info in mind about Jiren, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta... Oh, that didn't work. My hotkey didn't work. All right, well, <laughs> we'll just go over like that. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go and hop into an event like this. Now, this is a little wonky, but I reversed my Jiren. Uh, I have my Jiren rainbow, so he's looking like this. Uh, and we'll kind of, you know, use him here on the Ultra Instinct Goku event with uh, kind of a little bit of a wonky Universal Survival Arc team, you know, involving uh, some of the uh, characters that will be awakening uh, tonight on Global. Now, this, uh, I do think, is the hardest Dokkan event in the game. That's the other reason I decided to hop in here. Now, I do want you guys to keep in mind that Jiren is going to look a little better uh, going against this event than he would in normal events. Um, Jiren does do additional damage against Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, that's the thing, is he actually... Uh, he is the only unit that does, like, uh, extra damage or additional damage here in the event. You know, some events, it's like a certain character type, like Super Saiyan 3, or like, you know, Tech Vegito Blue uh, hits really hard on the Rose event, things like that. Well, Jiren is the only one who hits really hard in this event. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to have uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. We'll have him uh, kind of stay on a rotation, I think, with Ultra Instinct Goku. 
and then I'll probably kind of uh, toy around with the other Jirens, you know, moving them off and on rotation and stuff. Uh, I do kind of want to compare the difference between the two Jirens so we can see, like, how strong he'll be, uh, you know, like, the difference in strength, basically, between the uh, unawakened one and the awakened one. See, like, you know, how, which one will be a lot more superior. Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, Jiren after he awakens, but we'll kind of be able to see, like, how much stronger he gets, right? Like, like exactly how big the leap is. Here's Kefla, by the way, stealing the show, as she sometimes can, uh, with getting the triple super attack right there. It's very nice. So here, Goku goes into a Super Saiyan Blue form. Uh, this, of course, is the new Super Saiyan Blue Goku that is going to be out uh, on Global tonight as well. So, hmm... See, I want both Jirens to be able to attack here, but that might be a little tricky to have happen. Uh, let's see. Let, let's have this Jiren. Uh, no, you know, you know, I'm actually gonna have the unawakened Jiren attack first. That makes a lot more sense to me because the unawakened Jiren. Uh, that, that's the main one that I'm trying to like showcase right now because that is one that is coming to global tonight. Uh, the SCR Khalifa is pretty good. Okay, so attacks at about a million. Uh, he should do a lot more damage than a million, though. Yeah, 1.9 with the crit. Okay, not bad. Pretty impressive showing so far from Jiren. Again, on this event, uh, he will be doing a lot more extra damage. Uh, that is something to really, really keep in mind. Uh, all right, so here is why a lot of people might become very annoyed with this event. Is On this stage, uh, Spirit Bomb Goku here will one-shot you. Uh, something like... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, he could counter uh, this super attack. You know, he could counter and dodge. Uh, AGL Khalifa could dodge. Even Kefla could dodge. But if Goku hits you with this, it is likely going to be a one-hit KO unless maybe you have someone like AGL Golden Frieza blocking it, right? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a Baba uh, because of the fact that Goku decided to hit first. That's another thing he frequently does is he will attack, like, at the very, very start of the rotation. So, like, you have to burn an item. Like, I, I unless Kefla would dodge or one of these other units would dodge, uh, he would one-shot us here. Even with something like uh, Ultra Instinct Goku's 100% defensive buff or anything like that. Uh, Jiren actually can work pretty well against the stage, though. Uh, because Jiren could, of course, get that stun to work. Uh, this Goku is able to be stunned, uh, you know, sealed, all of that. All of that works against this Goku. We got the double super by AGL Godku, so we're going to be able to go ahead and finish off this Goku uh, without really uh, many issues here. Uh, so, goodbye, Goku, my boy. All right, so now uh, Goku will actually take the transformation, and he will become the uh, Ultra Instinct Omen. This, of course, is going to be the Dokkan uh, Awakening of the one that is on global as you guys can see you know they gave him his shirt which I, I think this looks a lot better with that blue shirt on he looks like i don't want to i just don't like the look of, of the black hair like like the way it looks without the shirt I'm not a fan but once he gets that shirt that's what looks better uh all right so here's the thing i brought uh cabe just to be funny but he would get absolutely bodied here uh, I don't think I'm going to go ahead... Uh, should I use an item? Uh, he, see, here's the thing, right? Once you get to this part, Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, both him and the Master version, especially against like a tech unit like Kabe, they could do you know, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 damage just on normals. So if you get supered as well, that is not going to be good. Now, Jiren will completely tank this damage. And Khalifa does have a 60% chance to dodge as well. But the problem is that Kabe, like, if he got supered, he could be supered for something insane, like, you know, 200k damage. We should be good. I don't think I'll need to use an item here, but, you know, that is something to consider. Uh, like, if you're going to try and take this event down, taking it on with tech units uh, could be rather difficult. Hopefully, Goku will super Jiren, but if not, we should still be fine. Just as long as uh, Khalifa is able to dodge uh, one or two of these attacks right here, we'll be completely fine. Uh, I guess if Khalifa doesn't dodge either, and then uh, Goku decides to super Kabe, that could be bad. Okay, so Khalifa dodge one, 
So uh, we we're, we'll be good. Uh, Ultra and Sengoku won't be able to one-shot Kabe. Now, Kabe is very good on the Universal Dark team. Wow, it didn't work there. But uh, he is able to get his uh, crit chance basically up to 50% uh, if you have, like, a full Universal Survival Arc team going. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, we'll keep the Ultra and Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan God Goku team right here. Uh, I should not need to use uh, any items right here. This is a very powerful defensive rotation. Godku gets a defensive buff after he super attacks. So he'll, he'll be able to defend quite nicely here. Uh, obviously, Ultra and Sengoku, he just gets a flat 100% defensive bonus anyway. So he is going to be looking good uh, right here. And then, of course, Jiren has his attack and defensive buff as well. So all these units are going to be looking good. And both Ultra Instant Goku and Super Saiyan God Goku, they both raise their attack when they super attack, which is really, really nice. Uh, so, you know, as the event goes on and on and on, both of those are going to be getting, uh, they're going to be getting stronger, right? Both Super Saiyan God Goku and Ultra Instinct Goku will progressively get stronger as the fight continues. So now we get to the Mastered Ultra Instinct version of the fight. Again, this guy is really, really strong, but we actually have a pretty solid rotation right here uh, in terms of fighting him. We're not going to need to use an item here. Uh, I am considering uh, actually having Jiren in the first slot right there. Uh, and then we'll have Ke uh, we'll have Kefla. I almost called her Khalifa. We'll have Kefla get all of these uh, STR orbs because the more orbs Kefla gets, the the stronger she will be. Uh, Ultra Instinct Goku can hit very very hard on a super attack, even against something like Jiren. This could do 150k or somewhere around there. This guy hits insanely hard. Wow, 76. That's not bad. That's not bad. Again. But, like, this has kind of gone in a good way, uh, even though I'm kind of, you know, using this wonky team. Uh, SCR Khalifa on the Universal Survival Arc team, I believe she also has that 60% chance to dodge. Both Kabe and SCR Khalifa for free-to-play units are pretty good, as long as you're using them on the Universal Survival Arc team. So, I actually think we might be able to get through this. Uh, with o The only item we had to use was just because of the Spirit Bomb stage. And again, like, like there's nothing you can do. Like, it... Unless you're using, like, a certain type of team, like, that has a perfect unit to defend against that, uh, you could be in a very bad spot. So, here, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a Princess Snake, and I might use a Baba as well, just in case, because Kabe, if Kabe got supered, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Um, yeah, we, we should be okay. I just want to make sure... Super Saiyan God Goku can get a super attack. Hmm. Perhaps I should... Yeah, I think it might actually be better if I have Super Saiyan... Well, see, here's the thing. Super Saiyan God Goku won't be able to defend. As well as Ultra Instinct Goku. But we do have that Princess Sink active, so he'll be able to reduce enough of the damage that he should be okay uh, right there. We want to make sure that both of them... Well, I mean, he can't even super attack right there. Oh, well. I, I guess... Super Saiyan God Goku just isn't going to super attack. Uh, that is, of course, because Jiren uh, only has the... Uh, whatchamacallit? I'm actually going to go ahead and use a Baba right here as well. Oh, he, uh, he can't be sealed. Okay, well, fuck it then. That's right. Uh, because Baba... What Baba basically does is it seals the uh, opponent. And obviously, Ultra Saiyan Goku is immune to seal. He's immune to stun. So even something like Baba doesn't work at this point. Uh, it would work before that. I, I forget that every time. Like, that the Baba item... Like, all it does is it seals, uh, like, the enemy. So, how much damage will God Goku take? 11k. 11k is not bad at all. Uh, but then again, that is, of course, with a Princess Sink act, uh, at, like, uh, Princess Sink effect, uh, active. So, alright, so, woof. Look at that. 47k. He took... <laughs> wait. He took 47k damage with a Princess Snake active. Like, that is absolutely fucking insane. That's insane. Mm, we're also... This is a... Hmm. Like, like he is actually beginning to become an issue right here. Uh, I, yo, why all of a sudden is Key becoming an issue this late in the game? Yo. Again, the reason Key is actually becoming a little bit of an issue 
is because I do have one of the Jirens uh, unawakened. That's kind of, you know, the way it'll be using the, all, the Universal Survival Art team until Jiren actually goes ahead and gets his Dokkan Awakening when Blue Evolution Vegeta does come out. Uh, I don't think they're going to change that for Global either. Like, I don't think they're going to release Jiren's Dokkan Awakening early or anything like that. I think it will come along with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta uh, at some point. Oh, Kefla's with the dodge! Very, very good. Oh, yes, yes. And then our boy Jiren, what it ah, will end this fight against our boy Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, Jiren, is Jiren worth rainbowing? Yes. Is the Universe Survival Arc team good? Yes. So, uh, do keep that in mind, guys, uh, with the banner coming out tonight. You know, maybe if you're hunting for Ultra Instinct Goku, but you get Jiren instead, uh, that is a good thing. Uh, Jiren is a beast of a unit. And that Universe Survival Arc team will only continue to get more and more fun to use as more Universal Survival Arc units are released. So that, of course, is very good. Uh, at this point, I guess I'll go ahead and finish up the video. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, good luck on your summons tonight. I know a lot of people have a lot of hopes uh, pulling some of these good units that are coming out.